Hello everybody. I'm going to do a video on knurling on the lathe uh, by request uh, as to where you can get good, good perfect knurls on them virtually every time. And we do have to go over a little bit of math here and uh, I'm going to run through this math as an example uh, to how I got my numbers and I'll kind of explain you know how it works but uh, this is an example uh, for doing a 21 pitch knurl and when you buy your knurls uh, the, you should know what the pitch is in my case this one we're doing is 21 uh, so the first thing we do is we take one and we divide it by the pitch of the knurl and that equals our pitch decimal so that would be 1 divided by 21 equals this long string of numbers here then we take the pitch, de pitch decimal divided by pi and that equals a multiplier so here's the pitch decimal that we've already found goes here divided by 3.1459 equals this long string of digits here now we have what are called base multipliers and they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on and I did this actually in a spreadsheet and I think I ran it out to about 300 uh, so once you find your multipliers and everything you just little help with some formulas and there we go okay so what we're doing now is we're taking the multiplier which we found which is this digit here times the base multiplier and in this first example it will be one and that will equal our turn diameter and that's what we're shooting for so here's an example of three base multipliers one two and three and these are the ending decimal that we get uh, so for example if we were at uh, 0 0.167 on our stock we would need to turn that down to this diameter 0 0.152 and that should allow you to get a perfect knurl on a 21 pitch knurl uh, these numbers are different depending on the knurl that you're using let's say you're using a 33 pitch diameter these are obviously going to change. So what I have done is I put this into a spreadsheet form. I'm trying to do this without getting janky with the camera. It's really hard to shoot stuff like this. Uh, and these are just, you know, basically the different pitch decimals, the pi, the multipliers, for the, the sizes of neurals that I have. A 14, a 21, and a 33. These are all the base multipliers I spoke about, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. There's 26 on this particular piece of paper. Uh, these fractions and decimals, these are just here for me. Uh, that's just so if I'm standing at the lathe, I have a piece of paper there, and I can say, okay, well, you know, 1364, so there's the decimal equivalent. I'm not very good with math. I don't even know how I figured all this out. I did it several years ago. Uh, now, the columns that we're focusing on... Uh, well actually out here we have these multipliers you can ignore these as well that's just for my spreadsheet formulas uh, the ones that we're in are the 14 the 21 and the 33 and you can see all these different digits in here so to give an example uh, let's say we were doing a 21 pitch diameter uh, knurl we would go down the 21 pitch diameter and let's say we were at a half inch on our stock well, the closest number we have to half inch is 0 0.5002. So if our stock is a little bit above that, we can turn it down and try to hit that mark, and then we can knurl it. Uh, if it is, let's say it's a, a 0.9 uh, or a 0.49, just below it, we would need to reduce the diameter of that stock and target 0 0.4850 on the 21 pitch knurl and these columns you know they run vertically uh, they, they don't run horizontally except for the formulas uh, so I, I have this document in a uh, PDF file and I think it's about 11 pages long but I, I'm, I don't have a place to publish this uh, to give it out to you guys because I think it would be a real good tool for you to have to, to play around with this or you'd have to build your own out of the you know out of the spreadsheets and, and stuff like that using that formula either way but if four or five people out there might have a space you know online where you could put this up indefinitely uh, for other users to download it uh, drop me a PM with your email address uh, 
promise me that you will publish it and send me the link so I can put it in my description so people can download these and I'd like four or five uh, because uh, if somebody doesn't renew their domain or you know something happens to the document you know I'd like it to be available because I'm going to tell you right now uh, I'm not going to email this out to everybody you know it's just not worth my time this is a, a benefit I'm willing to give you guys so if you want to do that uh, drop me a line and I'll get this document out to you guys free of charge and then everybody can download them so anyway moving on uh, I am going to set up a piece I think I'm going to use one inch uh, just as an easy round figure and I will be using a a medium neural which is the 21 pitch diameter neural uh, so let's just run down that column and see where I'm on the wrong piece of paper here sorry okay so right here on the 21 pitch neural uh, you can see a uh, right around the one inch mark uh, a tenth so if it was dead on an inch that's about as close as you can get uh, you know but we might shoot for you know 9852 or we might overshoot it and then have to drop down a little bit to 9701 but I'm gonna put a piece on the lathe and uh, turn it to one of these diameters and then we're gonna put a knurl on it and see how well it turns out and it should turn out great first time so sorry about the little camera shaking here uh, let me get a little further and we'll make some knurls <laughs> 